Hi all, welcome to Anjan GCP Data Engineering. So in this video, we will see introductory part of Cloud Spanner. Okay. So we will see some theoretical concepts and then we'll quickly move to the demo. Okay. So Cloud Spanner is a fully managed, uh, horizontally scalable, mission critical relational database service. Okay. So it offers transactional consistency at global scale and automatic synchronous data replication for high availability. You can create Cloud Spanner instance with two options, regionally and multi-regionally. Okay? And uh, it supports uh, two types of SQL dialects. One is Google SQL and another one is Postgres SQL. Okay? So Google SQL is almost similar to the BigQuery SQL and Postgres SQL is a uh, open source relational database service. Right? So based on the skill set available within the team, you can go for one of this dialect, Google SQL or Postgres SQL. Okay? Since Cloud Spanner is horizontally scalable, we can write and read data at scale with no limits okay? and also with transactional consistency. It also supports ACID properties like other relational database. These are the some important use cases of Cloud Spanner. Okay? In order to manage critical user data securely, right? for example, let's say uh, we have a gaming application at global scale. In order to store and uh, manage user profile at global scale, right? You can use Cloud Spanner, okay? And also, in case of financial uh, markets, right? In order to manage and store the financial ledger information, right? We can consider Cloud Spanner in that use case as well. Since it is a transactional database, so we can consider Cloud Spanner for online banking use cases, okay? So now we'll quickly move to the demo slide, okay? So it is an introductory demo, right? So we will create Cloud Spanner instance, right? And also we'll create database and also we'll create a, a few tables and um, uh, we'll try to insert the data into the tables and we'll, we'll try to query the tables. So we'll try to do it with uh, two different options using Google Cloud Console and also command line interface, okay? So I hope this is clear, then quickly move to the demo. Now we are into the Google Cloud Spanner Console page, okay? So now we'll create the Spanner instance, okay? So, and then we'll try to create the database and also table, okay? So we can give the instance name, okay? So automatically it will take the name which we are giving over here as an instance ID, okay? So, and then here we have two options to create Cloud Spanner instance, whether regionally or multi-region, right? Let it be. So I'm going for regional. Okay. So you can now, if you want, you can select the multi-region as well. So if you select multi-region, it will give you the available regions. Okay. So let me select regional. Let me select my nearest region. Okay. So then just uh, check this option, right? So allocate compute capacity uh, using two different uh, logics. Okay. So one is processing unit, other one is nodes, okay? So one node is equal to 1000 processing unit, okay? So just go through the official documentation of the Cloud Spanner, right, to understand these concepts, okay, uh, in, in detail, okay? Just click on create so that it will create the Cloud Spanner instance, okay? Now the instance has been created, okay? Now you'll have to create the database, okay? So here we have an option to create the database. Just try to explore even these options, right? Overview and import export, okay? We'll create the database, okay? So just give your database name. So I'm giving testdb as my database name, okay? So here, now you can see there are two options it is providing. One is Google standard SQL option and another one is Postgres SQL. So First, I'll try to use Google standard SQL and then we can see the Postgres SQL, okay? So here, we do have an option to create tables, okay? With the DDL templates, okay? For example, let's say create table. If you select, then it will give you that template. You will have to modify this template in order to create your table, okay? So first, let us clear this and then create your database. Okay, now database has been created, test db. Now we can create the table using this option, okay? 
just click, o, click on that. Now it is again uh, taking us to this DDL templates. Okay, so for for creating table, I have already few scripts ready, so I can use those scripts. Okay, so let me create this table, imply table. Okay, so you'll have to provide the primary key that is mandatory, right? So otherwise it will throw an error. So now click on submit so that it will create imply table. Our employee table has been created. Just click on this table. Okay, you can see the schema. Okay, so now we'll try to insert data into this table. Okay, so just go to the left panel. Here you can see this option like query. Just click on that so that it will open up your query interface for Cloud Spanner database. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll use these DML statements, right? insert data into this table here I am trying to insert two records into this table one by one okay it is imply okay table so just run this query it will insert two records now you can see it has inserted two records now let me try to query this table okay so run you can see the results over here okay so this is one simple example right so how to create a cloud spanner instance and also database and also table okay and also how to insert data and, all the, and also how to query the data now you can see this hierarchy over here right so you can see the instance name over here right and then the database name and also the table name right if you like to go to your instance just click on that particular tab so it will take you to that instance page okay so and also come over to the left panel and click on data so that directly it will uh, display the data available in the table okay so this is how using cloud console options you can create the cloud spanner instance and database and also table okay so now what we will do in the same instance right we will try to create one more database using our postgres sql dialect okay so for that click on this instance right now here you can see create database right click on the database for db2 i'll give okay here you can select the postgres sql as your dialect just click on create okay now this database has been created okay so now you can create the table using your postgresql syntax okay so i have that script ready same table i'm trying to create using our postgresql syntax the syntax is a bit different than your google uh, sql okay so create your table same table now this table has been created right you can see the database dialect postgres sql okay now click on this table you can see the schema details of the table this is the same table right so now you can see the data types right uh, character varying in case of postgres sql right so this is different than your google sql syntax okay now go to the query again try to insert some data in table i can use the same dml statements okay so now run yeah now you can query this table using your select statement okay run and also you can see the data using this option okay so now click on the instances now you should be able to see there are two databases one is with your google standard sql dialect and one is with your postgres sql dialect right so right now uh, let us delete these instances okay and what we will do will using cli commands we will try to create instance and also database and also table and also we'll try to insert data and we'll query the data as well if you delete your instance your database and your table will be deleted automatically right so i'm deleting the instance okay you will have to type this instance name in order to delete your cloud spanner instance okay 
from deleting it takes some time to delete the instance as well because it has to delete the databases and also underlying tables okay now the instance has been deleted and under uh, underlying databases and also underlying tables also are deleted okay so now using our cloud shell environment using cl interface we will try to create the instance and also databases and also tables okay okay now i have these commands ready so so using this command you can create the instance okay so this is the instance name gcp demo instance okay i am trying to create so the this is a regional instance it will be created in us central one now instance has been created so now we will set this instance as our default instance okay using this command you have to use gcloud config set in instance name okay now the property has been updated so now we can create the database okay by default it will create the google standard sql dialect database okay so let us create the database that is example db okay now database has been created now we can create the table okay within that database okay so this is a syntax so this is a command to create your cloud spanner table within that given database okay so just try to observe over here we are mentioning statement type as a ddl okay and database name and as well the ddl uh, script for to create the table okay so let us create the table okay now this table has been created now we'll insert some data into this table okay so i'll have multiple uh, dml uh, statements or commands okay so i'll use all together right so i'm trying to insert three rows okay this is the uh, command to insert data into cloud spanner table using cli commands so you will specify uh, the statement type as insert and database name and also table columns right and those values okay like this okay so that it will insert three records into that table yeah now uh, three rows uh, have been inserted into this table so okay uh, using cli commands itself we'll try to query this table okay okay just you have to mention the sql statement like this okay here it is the statement type execute sql okay now you can see there are three rows okay so now you can go to your uh, cloud spanner page and try to refresh and there you can see instance and database and table everything is available over there okay this is the demo instance click on the instance name there is one database with google standard sql dialect click on that database there you will see one table okay so go to the uh, table and click on the data okay there are three rows okay now you can see the same hierarchy instance database and also table right so now what we will see we will try to delete this instance okay using this command so there are two ways you can do this one you can delete the database first and then later you can delete the instance okay so let us do that anyway we have that command available first let us delete this database using this command it will ask you to whether to proceed or not you will have to prompt with appropriate option okay so now the database has been deleted now you can delete the 
instance. We will prompt you to select the option. Now, your instance also has been deleted. Now, go to your Power Spanner console. So, there is nothing, right? So, that instance has been deleted. Okay. So, this is how you can create a Cloud Spanner instance and uh, databases using different uh, SQL dialects and also you can uh, create the tables and you can insert the data using DML statements, right? And also you have an option to delete the instance and also databases, okay, separately. So, that is it for this video, right? We will meet in the next video. Thank you.